morning beautiful people it's pitch black no actually not pitch black am i talking too loud i don't know it's 6 30 in the morning that's why it's so black and where the hell am i going well i want to catch the sunrise at st peter square and i want to take some pictures and show you a bit around in the area which i never showed you around in a vlog and even on my Instagram I have some really old pictures of St. Peter's but not like some recent ones so yeah that's where I'm going see you there We are here so you can probably tell by my outfit that I'm freezing cold and behind me is the St. Peter's Cathedral and this is the square but unfortunately with my very famous luck that I have the square is full of this you know chairs and everything because I have no freaking idea of what they have to do this morning here about some sort of celebration obviously and yeah, I just wanted to take some pictures, guys. I just can wake at 5 a.m. to take these pictures. And you come here, and this is the situation. But you know how it goes. Like, things happen in life, and plans does not, do not always go as you thought. So yeah, we have to kind of deal with it. But anyway, and yeah, my hands are freezing literally freezing and it's totally cloudy so the sun is not out in the slightest so I can even take like some pictures with decent light and that's the situation for now I'll see you in a few moments so my mom was telling me that you see this food this is St. Peter and pilgrims and you know, religious people uh, used to like touch his feet in the sign of like devotion and they did it so many times during the, the years of course that the food kind of like consumed and it's like smooth now. Those are the Vatican walls over here. The, um, the border line, no, the border without line, sorry. And this is Piazza Risorgimento. I really like this building. And look, I wanted to show you over there. It's St. Andrew's Castle. Can you see that thing over there? So here we are. Um, we're around Via Candia which is a very quite famous, I would say, street here in Rome and it's very close to the Vatican's and museums, I mean, to the Vatican's museum's entrance. And yeah, I think this is a nice place to stay because you have the underground station very close, the Ottaviano station, but you're not in the full center of Rome where it's more complicated like to move especially with cars or um, buses or anything so I think that's a good compromise if you want to be close to the center but not like in the center since this is a place that many people like to stay when they come to Rome I want to show you a really nice B&B in this area which is called Vatican Chic B&B so the name is quite promising and let's see what it looks like inside. So I don't know if you can see it but see those people over there? This is the line for the Vatican's museums which are over there, the entrance is over there on the left and it's only 
uh, what time is it? Like 8.30 and people have been in the line since we, we went by there and it was like uh, 6.30 and there were already a couple of people waiting in the line so <laughs> yeah Hi there So I'm here at the ba Vatican B&B and I have to say the name is really appropriate because this place is actually chic It's very chic So let me show you a bit around so you can see by yourself Here's my very plain outfit for today. But one thing that's really not missing in here are mirrors. And that's one thing I love because sometimes when you're out, you know, you're like in a B&B or in a hotel and you want to see your full outfit on you, how it looks. And sometimes they don't have full size mirrors, like decent mirrors. But here you have lots and lots of mirrors to look yourself at. So I think that's the point. of this room you can see you can see that you are directly on Via Cambia which is the street that I just showed you and on the other side right on my back we have the Vaticans so here's the view from here the rooms are very nice and chic and each one is a little bit different and I particularly love this one and the black accents that they put in here but yeah you know like that's my taste but let me show you the bathroom of this because I think it's mind-blowing really I just love those black and white stripes I think they look so elegant so you know one thing I like about these old buildings in Via Gagna is the stairs. Look at the steps. They are very, very um, short steps. Like, they're not like those huge high steps that sometimes um, have, you happen to see like in the center, in the old buildings of the center of Rome. These are very, very low. So yeah, I love them. They're, they're so easy to to walk up, especially when you're like going up. I'm back home. Let me turn my wreath on. Look, how nice is this? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, here it is. Look how cozy this looks. I just love it. And I love these fairy lights also, guys. I carved a pumpkin like I actually emptied a pumpkin here I'm sorry for the mess on this fireplace but I'm working here so yeah I emptied it and it's quite big and I also picked up some leaves from my garden and I don't know what I'm going to do with them but yeah I really need to put them on like something heavy to flatten flatten them up and by the way you can tell that I'm home by my poncho blanket which I showed you in um, some of my Instagram stories too so if you're not following me there too my Instagram is at Rome inside I think I'm having lunch right now because I'm starving so probably having a peanut butter sandwich which is the worst lunch you could ever possibly have so yeah I'll probably see you in my next vlog thank you for watching and i'll see you very very soon ciao